Hello everyone. For the past few months, our team has been working hard on various generative AI solutions for enterprises, especially for the SAP system. Today, I am excited to show you one of our most promising solutions. Generally, we receive a lot of information, requests, and queries through different channels like email, chat, uploaded files, or ServiceNow tickets. All these channels have one thing in common. As end users, we love to communicate in natural language. Now, if we want to query the SAP system or take some action inside SAP based on the user's request, what's the best way to do that? The best approach is to use standard or custom OData services. Today, I will show you how our intelligent OData query processor engine handles any kind of user request in any format and performs different operations in the SAP system. Let's move to the demo part. We have all the backend APIs to configure the following. Connect to the SAP system. We also ensure our data is secure when using LLM models by enabling data anonymization controlled by this checkbox. Lastly, we configure the functionalities by setting up the system's intent. For instance, create sales order and get sales order status. We can also configure the OData metadata format. This helps us get values dynamically for our get post OData calls. Now that we have the basic configurations, let's see the different possibilities where we typically get user inputs in plain English. For instance, from emails, chat, uploaded documents, or even ServiceNow tickets. What's common here is that the inputs are generally unstructured or semi-structured. Our intelligent OData system can interpret all these inputs and perform various actions in the SAP system using OData services. How does it work? Let's see it in action. Imagine we receive a sales order creation request via email. Let's see how our system responds. Here is an example of the email content. Hi team. I want to create a sales order for customer 25100273 with a total of 300 euro. It should be of type OR, sales organization 2510, distribution channel 10, and division 00. Payment terms are 0004, include 5 units of material FG1CP and 10 units of material FG2CP. Then we send the email. Now you can see the OData response. A new sales order is successfully created in our SAP system. Let's verify the sales order in SAP S4HANA. We'll go to VA03. Here, you can see the newly created sales order with two line items. Let me also show you another example, like if this query comes in via chat. Suppose a user asks, what is the status of sales order 71? Our intelligent system will invoke the corresponding OData service to find out the actual status of the sales order. In this way, everything is dynamic. We can perform any action or retrieve information from the SAP system using our intelligent OData query processor engine. I hope you enjoyed the demo. If your organization is looking to implement a generative AI solution to enhance your enterprise systems, our experienced team is here to help. Please reach out to us today. Thank you for watching.